Porch Heights Elementary. I hope that you're all doing well. I miss you. I'm going to be so happy to see you again soon. Today's story is in Luke chapter 17. Luke is um, found in the New Testament. It is one of the four gospels. We're gonna start with verse 11 and read through verse 19. Would you pause the video and actually read that with your family? Thank you. In this passage today called 10 Healed of Leprosy, Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem. And as he's walking by, 10 lepers cry out to Jesus, Lord, have mercy on us. And they were crying out because their skin was covered with sores. And this disease caused, called leprosy was considered to be highly contagious. So they were isolated. They were socially distanced from their communities, from their families, and they weren't allowed to participate in going to the temple to offer sacrifices and to worship. So as I was reading this story, I was connecting it to really kind of what we're going through today in a little bit of the same way, um, except that lepers were actually not allowed to return to their family or their friends because they didn't get well. So with the coronavirus, we see people wearing masks and gloves and distancing from each other and schools closed and church isn't happening in our building. And it's because we know the coronavirus is contagious and elderly people or people with weak immune systems could easily catch the virus if they're not really careful. So I was just thinking about how hard it was when we had that several weeks of staying at home and not seeing people. And I know I didn't see, I only saw my parents a few times during that period. And I was thinking, you know, lepers didn't get to just go see their friends because they didn't get better unless Jesus touched them. So when they cried out to Jesus, Jesus responded, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were healed. One of the 10 returned. He fell at the feet of Jesus and he thanked him. Where were the other nine? Well, I would imagine they were running home to see their family and friends. And God still loved them. Maybe they didn't take the time to come back and say thank you to Jesus. But us doing the right thing or the wrong thing doesn't change God's love for us. That's the amazing thing about God. He loves us no matter what. Jesus healed this man and this man was incredibly grateful. And Jesus that day said, go and your faith has made you well. So Jesus not only saved him from a physical disease, which was the leprosy that covered his skin, but he healed his heart of sin. And that is the greatest truth of all, that Jesus has the power to heal our bodies, our minds, but God through his son Jesus saves our souls from the punishment of our sin, which is death. And Jesus did that by going to the cross. Isaiah 53, five says, by the wounds of Jesus, we are healed or by his scars, we are healed. So when Jesus went to that cross and suffered for us, what he did was he gave us the opportunity to have a clean heart when we accept him into our lives and we ask him to forgive us. So though we will never be perfect, we are forgiven. In response to what Jesus did for us, it makes sense that we would in response give Jesus our lives, honor him, give him thanks, give him praise, just as this one did in the story. I'm sure he wanted to run home and go show his family and friends. I'm sure he wanted to make it known to everyone that he had been healed, but first he wanted to thank Jesus. Let's remember to thank Jesus for what he's done for us on the cross. What a gift to know that Jesus suffered for my sin, he rose again to bring us new life with God. Boys and girls, have a wonderful day. 
I miss you and I'm praying for you and I cannot wait to see you soon. Hi friends, Miss Sherry here for your small groups questions for our Sunday school this morning. We are in the book of Luke and that is the third book of the New Testament. So grab your family and your Bibles and we'll dig into God's word together. But remember, if you need to pause my video at any time to answer your questions with your family, please do so for as long as you need and then you may push play and we will continue. We are in the book of Luke chapter 17 verse 19 and it reads like this then jesus said to him get up and go your faith has healed you why did jesus say the one samaritan was saved do you feel more like the man who thanked jesus or the nine who did not what should we do when good things happen? What should we do when bad things happen? I'm so glad you could join me this morning. I'm going to pray and then we'll get on to the next thing. Dear Jesus, we thank you for all the kids that are watching this morning. We are so thankful that they're able to do this once again to learn more about your word and about you and your son, Jesus. Thank you so much that we can know that you're with us no matter what. You're with us in the good times. You're with us when bad things happen. We're so thankful and blessed to know that your promise is true, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Help us to have the good rest of the morning to worship you and to celebrate life in you. And be with the kids and their families this week as they um, do their everyday things and help them to be safe and to have a good time together. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you guys next time.
Hi guys, Miss Tasha here. I'm going to give you an activity to go along with your lesson for this week. So I'm going to have you gather some supplies. First, you're going to need your Bible. Okay, so grab your Bible. Grab um, 11 little figures. One to represent Jesus in our story, and then 10 to represent the 10 lepers in our story. You can also get um, a little house to represent the um, temple where the priest was. Um, and so those are the things that you're gonna grab. So I'm gonna grab my people. I have one little guy that's gonna be my Jesus, and I have 10 other people. Unfortunately, um, because I have a little girl in my house, most of my figures are actually princesses, but that's okay. You just need 10 people to, to act out the 10 lepers in your story. So pause the video, go ask your parents for permission to get these supplies, and then come back and join us. Okay, glad you guys are back. We have all of our little figures. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to basically read the story in the Bible. Our story in the Bible is in Luke chapter 17, verse 11 through 19. So Luke is the third book in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Go to Luke, find Luke 17, 11 through 19. Read it or have your parents or a family member read it for you. Um, or you can listen to Miss Kim's lesson that you heard earlier. Just review the story and then grab all of your pieces and you're going to act out the story together, okay? And so I am actually gonna act out my story for the chickens at my house. Okay, so I'm going to gather up all of my things, go outside, and tell this story to my chickens. I'm here to tell the story that we learned about this week to my chickens. So, chickens, this is a story from God's Word. It's from Luke chapter 17, verse 11 through 19. Okay, are you ready? So, Jesus was walking on his way to Jerusalem on the border between Samaria and Galilee. Galilee had God's people there. Samaria had some other people who were God's people, but that were not liked very much by God's people. So, um, Jesus was walking and he was on his way and he entered into a village. And when he went into that village, there were 10 lepers, 10 men who had leprosy. And they were standing at a distance and said to Jesus, Jesus, have mercy on us. And Jesus saw them, and he said, Go and show yourself to the priest. And so these ten men, they all walked on their way to go see the priest. And while they were going, chickens, while they were going, they were healed. All ten men were healed. But only one stood up, realized that he was healed, and ran back to Jesus and said, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Praise God and fell down on his face in worship. Then Jesus saw the man and he said, weren't there nine other men who were also healed? Is this Samaritan man the only one that has come back to praise God? You stand up and go away because your faith has healed you. So this man, this Samaritan man who was a, le a leper, was healed and he walked away praising God. Wasn't that an awesome story, chickens? Now you guys at home can tell this story to any pets that you have. If you have any um, animals, if you have family members, siblings, or even just some stuffed animals, um, just practice telling this story about how Jesus healed people and how he also saved one man. See you later.